So, let's start. We're talking about chemistry and specifically how cleaners work. Let's start with some basics. If you're given the drawing of a molecular geometric shape or structure, you should be able to identify it. For example, here's one. Pretty simple. You should be able to determine that it's H2O. Now knowing that, you're able to calculate the electronegativity. That then helps you determine the polarity. How? Using the electronegativity values of the elements table, you can find each of the elements' electronegativities. Let's find hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen, up on the left, is 2.1. Oxygen, up on the right, is 3.5. To find the electronegativity, you subtract the smallest number from the biggest. 3.5 minus 2.1 equals 1.4. This means that H2O is polar. Why? Let's look at this chart. Because 1.4 is between 0 0.6 and 1.7, H2O is polar. Now let's move on, continuing with polarity. In a solution, the two substances are either both polar or both nonpolar. This means they're miscible, are um, mutually soluble in each other. When one substance is in, in a solution is polar and the other is nonpolar, it is immiscible. They are not mutually soluble in each other. Now that we've got the basics, let's talk about how cleaners work. Hypothetically, let's say you've accidentally gotten some grease on your clothes. Oh no! What are you going to do now? You've got a couple ideas, so let's try them out. Here's some water, and here's some gasoline. So let's try the water first. And does it work? I don't think so. And why is that? Because water is polar and grease is nonpolar. This means they are immiscible and not soluble in each other. Let's try the gasoline. It should work because it is nonpolar. And does it work? Yes. This means that they are miscible and mutually soluble in each other meaning that it'll clean off. Let's move to another example. You spilled spaghetti sauce on the carpet. Solution? Resolve triple action spot carpet cleaner. First, you're going to pick up any chunky tomato pieces. Then, after picking up all the chunky tomatoes, you're going to spray the resolve in the spot and wait approximately five minutes. In those five minutes, it'll be absorbing into the carpet. After waiting, you should gently rub the stain until removed. And then it's gone. To conclude, so depending on the polarity of the soil and the cleaner, it might or might not clean.